Good morning, I'm Steve Forbes and this is 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This is where you get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock with news, monetary policy officials are bracing to do more to counteract growing slowdown signals. In the US, the number of Americans filing applications for unemployment benefits unexpectedly rose last week, which adds to concerns that their labour market is losing steam after job growth slowed sharply in May. Trade flows are also now slowing markedly. Imports at the two large Southern Californian ports fell sharply in May, with inbound container handling down 6.3%, and exports fell 7.4%. This comes at a time when they are usually building up for the summer peak. Most economists in the US now say that the US Federal Reserve will cut rates soon and reverse their normalisation plans due to the worsening economic outlook. And across the Pacific, China's officials are pushing ahead with slowdown responses too. China's official press is suggesting that they are readying looser credit conditions including relaxing bank capital reserve requirements as they hunker down for a long trade war. Oddly, foreign investment levels into China grew strongly in May, according to official data up 8.5% from May 2018. The Australian jobless rate has come in as expected at 5.1%. The number of new jobs created in May was an impressive 42,300. However, only 2,400 of them were full-time permanent positions, with the rest being part-time jobs. Meanwhile, the iron ore price has surged to over $100 a tonne. That is its highest level since April 2014 and represents a surge of more than 50% so far this year. The US 10-year Treasury yield is sharply lower and now just on 2.1% and we should note that late yesterday local swap rates sank down across the curve by 2 or 3 basis points. The 2-year swap rate actually ended up below 1.4%, taking it down 8 basis points since the beginning of June and now down 27 basis points since the beginning of May. It does highlight just how far this relentless rate drop has gone and it is of course a record low. Gold is up $9 today, now on $1,342 an ounce. US oil prices have jumped sharply today, up about $1.50 a barrel, and they are now just under $52.50 a barrel. The Brench benchmark is under $61.50 a barrel. A tanker attack in the Persian Gulf is the trigger. The Kiwi dollar is a tad softer this morning, is now at 65 0.7 US cents. On the cross rates we're a little firmer at 95 Australian cents and against the euro we're at 58.3 euro cents. That leaves the TWI5 little changed at 70.6. I'm Steve Forbes and that was 90 at 9 brought to you by interest.co.nz.